the fall of 1941, the Japanese Imperial Army set its expansionist gaze on the impregnable British colony of Singapore. It was a key component in Japan's quest for control of the Pacific. For the British, it was a defeat as great as Pearl Harbor. I was moved by the feeling it was either Schindler's List or the fall of Saigon. Well, it very much was, is the fall of Saigon because the novel was written in uh, 1976, uh, that's to say the year after the fall of Saigon, and when Jim Farrell, who wrote the novel, J.G. Farrell, later he said that the fall of Saigon was very much in his mind when he wrote this sequence, which is everybody fighting, rushing to get on the last boat which went out from Singapore to India before the Japanese invasion. So the uh, mass exodus of yeah. the Brits escaping the Japanese. Yeah, and it's very personal to me because, in fact, I think my uncle was on, if not that boat, a boat that went in those days because he worked in Penang for a company called Cable and Wireless. And he uh, uh, was instructed uh, with his colleagues to get out uh, a matter of days before the Japanese arrived. Singapore is reading this morning from another night of heavy bombing. Civil defences have been working tirelessly to fortify the city. Meanwhile, our boys have been heading up country to meet the Japanese threat head on. Yes, Singapore's defences are looking stronger than ever. In Egypt, where my father was working for Cable and Wireless, and my brother, my mother and I were on the last boat out um, before the British invasion of Suez. So they were colonialists, your parents? Well, I guess, I guess they must have been, yes, because uh, they were working for the, the uh, 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 Cable and Wireless, which was a nationalised British company, uh, all over the world. Um, so that was part of the, col the huge colonial web that uh, was set up at the beginning of the 20th century, the end of the 19th, the beginning of the 20th century. That's fascinating because you're the son of a colonialist couple. Your mom was out with tea parties and playing tennis. That's right. And 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 maids and servants, right? Yeah. And and I was the the Vietnamese family responding to post-war during the war and post-war colonialism in Vietnam with the French and you're a CBE commander of the British Empire. <laughs> As it turns out, yes. But yet you're writing a, sh a, a miniseries about the racism of Well, the, the evils of colonialism, really, and all the unthinkingness of the colonialism, because, in fact, the family at the centre of this story are, by and large, people who never, th never gave this sort of uh, issue a thought. Each of its arms will be wrapped around a girl representing Saigon, Hong Kong, Shanghai, all the places that we trade with. And Walter, do you honestly think that this is the right moment to be doing something like this? I don't think there's ever been a more necessary moment. That's why Singapore fell, because nobody was entertaining the possibility that the Japanese could beat them. There was no thought uh, among, the, among the British that this could possibly happen. 